Hi, this is Michelangelo, and today I'm going to talk about video cameras. From the early 20s, the video recording technology developed, reaching now high-definition standards. John Logie Baird, a Scottish engineer, was the first inventor of the basic television system and the first fully electronic color television tube. His technology was soon replaced by entirely electronic systems, but he was really important for the developing of our modern standards. Ancient video cameras were usually divided in two parts, the actual lens and the lens holder, with other necessary spark, and usually in a separate room, the other electronic sections, mounted on a big rack. In the 50s, the first color cameras started to be used, but they were really heavy because of the pickup tubes, used to catch the light and process it in colors. You were able to use handheld cameras only in the 70s, but even those ones were divided in two sections, including sometimes a backpack. Today we can find everywhere cameras, and some of them are really small, anyone has to mount them on also a, a handlebar of a bike, while recording videos and audio. They became so small. There are several kinds of professional cameras, studio cameras, electronic news gathering, electronic field productions, and remote cameras. Nowadays, most of them use a press block placed right behind the lens. It divides the light in three colors, the dark directly in separate sensor, and this gives the image better quality. Most of the studio cameras are mounted on movable stands, called pedestals, that help the video operator in pointing and moving the cameras. In some occasions, as sport games, they use electronic field production cameras mounted on stable tripods that make the camera more versatile. They are not recording anything, but they send the image back to the broadcast truck. Remote cameras are used mostly for high shots on soccer, football, and other games fields. They are guided with remote controls, and they are able to move really fast. In Children of Men, film directed by Alfonso Cuaron, released in 2006, they shoot a long scene inside a moving car. They build a mechanism to hold the camera while filming the scene and the crew control the movements of it. Let's see how they did in a squad. We're putting together a sophisticated little rig here that uh, incorporates the sparrow head from doggy cam and two power slides which work together to move the camera in and out, forward, backwards, right and left. And basically, in this configuration, we can put the camera anywhere inside of this moving vehicle and be able to look around 360 out the window and never see any rigging or be bothered by any uh, obstructions. And then, um, built on top of that, is where we have our operation station. and. Um, there we have uh, the cameraman, the director, uh, focus puller, and myself. Between the four of us, we uh, work together to incorporate and, and make the shot work. And they can film a conversation between five people in the interior of, our, of a car and cover the entire thing without, uh, without a cut. <clears throat> That's crazy, isn't it? Thanks for listening. Good night. Okay, it's done. It's done. Please. Unbelievable. Please. We couldn't even get that right. It's done. It's too difficult. It was four and three. It was not. I was on three. Yeah, but Jack, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about them. They came to get right. Oh, anyway, I, I, I taped it right here wrong. Mr. Condi.